Well, the news out of the Senate is that a massive audit has found so many senators coloring outside the lines. Let me speak more plainly. Billing for expenses that were not legitimate. Padding things, so to speak. And some of these have been referred to the RCMP. Well, that jogged my memory, and it made me think of an exchange I had with a liberal senator named Mobina Jaffer last year. Mobina Jaffer had attended the Senate's Board of Internal Economy. That's basically the group of senators who manage Senate funds, who set the rules for what can be spent and what can be billed and what can't be. Let me quote to you what Senator Jaffer told her panel of fellow senators last year. Okay, so I'm quoting from the transcript here. I travel a lot to New York to work on United Nations business, but I am very nervous because I'm defining, defining what United Nations business is. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going into the building of the UN. I'm working on issues that are around resolutions of the UN. So she said this last January before the Committee of Internal Economy. You heard her key words. She said she was nervous about her expenses because although she was saying it was UN business, she actually wasn't dealing with the United Nations. She was working on issues that the UN cared about. Yeah, well, so do I every day. I talk about world affairs. Does that mean I can bill my expenses to the Canadian Parliament for her junkets to New York? This was very odd, especially the fact that she would publicly say, I'm nervous about my expenses. So I wrote her a detailed letter saying, can you tell me why you were nervous? Can you tell me what the trips were about? And I also asked questions like, was anyone else also paying for these tickets? That is, were you double dipping? Were you getting paid by someone in New York for your airfare, but then also giving the receipt to the Canadian taxpayers and profiting the difference? These were blunt questions, and I thought, let me put it to her directly to hear what she has to say. And she wrote back a seven-word reply. She said, I have paid for these trips myself. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I wrote back and I said, well, Senator, thank you for getting back to me, but if you paid for the trips yourself, why were you nervous about them? Why were you talking to the Senate Expense Committee? And why did you say that you had gone to the UN on government business? I, I, I just put this question to her and she wrote back another extremely brief reply, very bizarre. She said, as I wanted clarification for certainty, I have never claimed for those expenses. Well, that just gets weirder, isn't it? Because we have her on record telling her fellow senators she claimed for trips, but she didn't know if she should do it. She's very nervous. So I wrote back again. I said, can you explain why, why you were nervous then? Can you just, I was just trying to get her to explain. And again, a very brief message back from her. I have never claimed any expenses for these trips to New York or Washington. Isn't this weird? Because she just told the Senate committee that she had billed for those trips and she was very nervous about it. So... Let me just read my reply. I say, I'm sorry to parse your language so carefully, but we're both lawyers. You keep adding a qualifier, those expenses or these trips. Can you please tell me if you have ever expensed any trips to New York or Washington? And if not, why did you say what you said at committee? May I ask you again, will you release all of your expense claims? And then a six word reply, I have not expensed any trips. Well, she had said she did for some and then not for others and she told the senate she did this is jiggery pokery i go went back to her yet again and then she said well when i say any trips it's to new york do you believe her i sent her one last letter back then and this is in january of 2014 i said senator jaffer has the rcmp contacted you at all and she wrote back one word no all right. Well, I wrote to her again last week and I said, are you one of the senators who has had your expenses passed on to the RCMP? Well, this time, not a seven word answer, not a six word answer, not a one word answer. No answer. Hey, Senator Jaffer, if you have anything to say, whether it's one word or a thousand, you can tell me or who knows, maybe I'll have to wait for some sort of Statement from the witness stand. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.